Hi, I'm Paul Torgerson. It's Thursday, September 12th, 2019, and this is a look at the information security news from overnight. From Threat Post, a cache of 17 million emails was found on an unsecured database. Surprisingly, it didn't belong to a company, but to a sophisticated criminal network. Through stolen and created emails, they had opened millions of fake accounts on Groupon, Ticketmaster, and similar vendors, and were buying and reselling tickets with stolen credit cards. From Bleeping Computer, a new malware with possible associations to the Ryuk ransomware has been discovered targeting financial, military, and law enforcement sites. However, instead of encrypting the files, it steals them. It uses an extensive scan with a laundry list of what to look for and what to avoid. You can geek out on all the details in the article. From ZDNet, Google is urging Chromebook users to update devices to fix a critical vulnerability in their built-in security key that handles two-factor authentication procedures. Evidently, the process is trimming some of the cryptographic data, making it easier to break. From Bleeping Computer, Cobalt Dickens, a threat actor associated with the Iranian government, ran a phishing operation that targeted more than 60 universities in Australia, Hong Kong, the U.S., Canada, the U.K., and Switzerland. Also known as Silent Librarian, the group focuses on compromising educational institutions, stealing library account credentials, and selling academic resources and access to customers in Iran. And from ZDNet... Flashlight apps for Android are asking for a stunning number of permissions. Of the 937 apps found, 408 needed just 10 permissions or less, which seems fairly reasonable. But 262 are requiring 50 permissions or more. Things like the ability to kill background processes, place phone calls, handle SMS messages, access geolocation data, or trigger downloads without notifying the user. That's one heck of a smart flashlight. Read the fine print, kids. That's all for me today. Have a great rest of your day, and until tomorrow, be safe out there.